Yeah, finesse Lord Mac tapping in with my nigga Ground Zero to leave niggas get their money up and not they funny up. Growing up in Palm Bluff, Arkansas, I done tapped in with a couple people from the bluff. You know, everybody, you know, when you mention the bluff, you already, you know, you, you already got a, got an idea of what's what go on in the city. You know, how was it for you? Shit. Hungry every day, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in the, in a middle class household, you know. A nigga ain't have everything he wanted, but a nigga had the shit he needed. So if I wanted the best shit, shit, I had to go get it. And the bluff that shit, it put it in you. Like, it's little kids finessing. That's why my name, what it is, Finesse Lord Mac. Like, motherfuckers from, you gotta watch out from elementary to high school, everybody on that counterfeit everything shit the bluff really just make you somewhat shysty slimy like that shit crazy and you know you you mentioned like your environment the bluff made you that way is it so if you had another way or could have chose another route would it you know would you would have did that or i mean this rap shit to be honest with you it always been a part of me like i ain't never really not rap like you feel me bro like through school i always drop music i always was doing videos so motherfuckers knew i could do it it just wasn't no full thing you know what i'm saying because i was in the little sports and shit so i ain't gonna say i would have took a different route i mean i just would have got here probably a different way it wouldn't be this way but i think i still be in the same position i'm in though you mentioned sports and you know athletic what was your thing shit I played football, that was number one. I was a hooper for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But a nigga had fell off a little bit, you know, the coaches, nigga bump heads with the coaches shit, so I really had kind of fell off a little bit. When you mentioned fell off, what you mean? Like around the bench type fell off or? Uh, uh, shit, you could say, nah, not riding the bench so <laughs> much, it's like new coach, you know what I'm saying? You know a nigga be good playing and all of a sudden they want to change coaching staff. You got to establish a new relationship. I, and then I'm already undersized guard. So all that work, I'm just like, fuck it. I ain't even off and go and graduate. So I get on this rap shit. I just know I had to graduate to get my granny off my ass. Cause why? My granny ain't play. She sacrificed a lot for a nigga. So I had to do what I had to do. And when you, you know, you mentioned getting off your ass, you know, what exactly do you mean? Shit. High school was a skate. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really had to put in much work. It was kind of easy. Like, high school, I ain't gonna lie, I really was barely there, but I graduated. And, like, I knew at the high school I had to do something. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, my whole life I seen people around me, you know what I'm saying? My uncles, they stand with my granny. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Like, I ain't saying, I ain't discrediting nobody. I ain't saying they ain't do what they had to do, but I know the position I wanted to be in. You know what I'm saying? I want to be at least able to give my granny something for what she did for me. And I know it would take me going out to get some money to be able to take care of myself to take the weight off her shoulders. So I knew I had to do something. So I had to keep asking her to buy me this, buy me that. So since I was a little nigga, I was a baby, baby. I've been going to go finesse phones, if, you, if I'm taking the phone, selling it locked, finessing, or if I'm gonna fake sell it, run off with the money, go sell it to somebody else, I'm doing it. Like, young nigga, like I always been about this right here. Never ever, nigga know me, I always been about money first. Like, fuck all that other shit. And when you mentioned you about money first, you know, what's some, what's some other odds you had to overcome, you know, growing up in the city? Being robbed. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Having a fight or having to just really look over my shoulder, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no nigga never really just bitch me. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no nigga never just hold me because I ain't no hoe. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no weak ass nigga. I ain't gonna go like that. A nigga had the tables turned and that's really, you gotta move cautious and pine blood. That's why I say the bluff put you on your toes because anywhere else, I feel like it's cake. You, you have to, you gotta... Come to the bluff and see that shit. Like, there's niggas around that bitch that ride every day, lurk daily, looking for Trying kill to spin. shots. Yeah, real talk. Looking like, this shit ain't, <laughs> bro, this shit ain't no game. Why, why, why would, you know, why would you say it's like that, though? 
Shit. Over the years, you know what I'm saying? It really got worse. Because I remember I was younger coming to the bluff. And they were saying that the deafs motherfuckers were dying a lot. Like my grandpa, I'm listening to my granny and my uncle. They like people starting to die a lot. So I guess shit that back and forth. And some little niggas, they, they, it's little niggas growing up, coming up under that shit. Like, so when you breed motherfuckers for that shit, they really don't know nothing else but that. You know what I'm saying? When that's all they see on Facebook, Instagram, you know what I'm saying? They ain't really watching TV or they ain't really, they people ain't taking them out of the bluff so they can see something different. You know what I'm saying? They listening to all this shit. It's the internet, bro. They, these motherfuckers be fucked up. I was just lucky to have some older motherfuckers. And I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I wasn't born in Arkansas. So I seen some other than this shit before I came here. You know what I'm saying? So I was lucky enough to know it's some way bigger than where I'm at. You mentioned the internet. How you feel like that, you know, that, that has a big impact on what's going on now in today's society? Do you look good? Everything a motherfucker do look good. And, and a person a want that. You know what I'm saying? And they never know what what the fuck went on for that or none of that. They don't know what a motherfucker did. They just want to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's like the motherfucking little challenge. You see, little challenges motherfuckers doing. Or when motherfuckers was passing out. You, I don't know if, if you remember motherfuckers was pressing. They had press your chest. Every time you, you blow your thumb you. and I, yeah, and you like, I was on that, though. Like, I was on like, that. What? Hell no, nah, motherfuckers putting the cinnamon in their mouth and doing that. Yeah, real time. A dry ice and salt on my on crib, on my pop's grave. I've never, ever, like, bro, that shit's stupid. Like, internet, though, big impact. I swear to God, Instagram, all that. Because you, you get the internet, bro, you got it. It's about popularity right now. It ain't even so much as about skill. It's about popularity. Do you feel like this hurting us? Hell yeah, yeah. Make it look bad. Look bad as a bitch. Making us look bad as a bitch, bro. Making us look terrible. Cause you ain't seeing the quality in the work as much. Every all this shit is getting rushed. I ain't saying this like that with everybody. It's just mostly like and that's that's just facts. That's the truth. So what do you feel like it's gonna take, you know, to help change that? Turn things around. Shit. Motherfuckers spitting real shit and realizing that in they self that that shit flaw. Like, you gotta just being being the nigga you is and being you saying you cut like that or whatever, it's just certain shit that you do and don't do off your morals. You know what I'm saying? And niggas' morals be bad. So with them having bad morals, they don't know to not do that fuck nigga shit or not do that bullshit that they do. And they'll do that shit. What are you talk? Your name was caught up in some whisper, man. You know, rumors, you know, speculating, people speculating you, talking about on some faggot shit, saying, you know, you was gay. You know, speak on that. Give us a rundown on what really went on. Shit. First, I think it was in high school and shit. What was the scenario? Oh, I logged in on one of my partner's phone, bro. I ain't had no phone at the time. I'm in high school, you know. So I logged in on my nigga shit, and, I'm, and then I forgot to log out. So somehow this nigga texts in a faggot or whatever, and then he screen recorded and sent it to another nigga like it was me. And I'm like, what the fuck? And somehow the nigga sent it to some hoes, and you know the hoes gonna talk off the rip. So shit, he got out. They like, oh, this nigga gay. Da, da, da. I'm like, hold on. I go straight to the gay nigga like, bro, tell these motherfuckers ain't none of that shit going on. He tell them ain't no nigga ever did no shit like that. He don't know what the fuck they got going on. Then the nigga post like, all right, it was me. I was in his, I uh, had his page, da, da 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 And that little scenario went over. So it's another scenario. We uh, so it, so you been accused of being gay more than once? Twice, bro. This shit happened twice, two times. Oh yeah, you gotta speak on that. Twice. So we motherfucking me. Um, I'm at the crib, bro, and some hoes Facetime me. Some little hoes I don't even fuck with. They like uh. This boy, this, but this, this ain't, this ain't, now this ain't the first time this nigga been playing though. That's what I'm saying. Like we at school, 
I'm down there finna whoop the nigga like, but the, the, it's it's a too big of a crowd. Like I can't. I'm gonna get suspended. So the nigga always talking about me, bro. I'm like, what the fuck is you like, fam? I'm not gay. Like you ain't. We we'll never talk. We we'll never text with, bro. Like who the fuck you steady speaking on me for? So a bitch called me. She like this boy over here talking about y'all did this. Da 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 da. You text him this this. I'm like, what the fuck is this nigga on? So. Him, that shit happened with that nigga. He over there talking to the bitch. I'm like, fam, what is you lying for? That right there. And then, that was it. Then was the last two. That was the time. Motherfucker just speaking on the nigga name. This is how I feel, bro. I don't dick ride as far as I don't ride the wave. You know what I'm saying? In the bluff, if you ain't following something that they got going on, or if you ain't with their trends, then you consider an outcast or they don't want to fuck with you because you ain't doing what they doing. I ain't, I'm, I'm going to say 95% uh, what they got going on, you know what I'm saying, is some follow the leader type shit. You know what I'm saying? It's rare niggas like me that's doing something on their own, that's self-driven, that ain't got no, I'm here by myself. I ain't got no team, none of that. I got a nigga that I fuck with, my homeboy. He, that's the nigga I rode up here with. Besides that, I'm here alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I feel like. And I feel like motherfuckers hating because they see I, I'm clean as a bitch. Got all the hoes. Raw with this rapping shit. You know what I'm saying? Every aspect of the board, I'm up. And they ain't like that. And they just had to have something to uh, throw dirt on a nigga. Just that something. Most definitely. But, you know, it's a lot of homosexuality going on. Like, you know, it's a lot of faggots, a lot of gay people. So, you know, what's your thoughts on, you know, somebody that's gay? Like, it's legal. It's legal to... away from me. Like, it's legal to get, uh, you know, married to the same sex. Stay now. away from me. Because, famo, this shit is on TV. This shit is in cartoons. This shit is in TV shows. It's a fucking sin. It is one of the Ten Commandments, fam. Like... How the fuck is America so Christian? I ain't even no, no religious ass nigga. I'm just saying, I like facts, you know what I'm saying? I like to be a nigga that speaks something that makes sense. Well, this at least makes sense to me. How the fuck is we so Christian, but saying it's okay to do this? Real talk. It don't make sense. You can't even make it make sense. Like, so, bro, how I feel, stay the fuck away from me. I got a bitch, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my girl, I love that girl, you know what I'm saying? I ain't... Hey, stay, you stay in your lane, I'm in my lane. Crossover, I ain't, I'm not spending shit with that shit no more, because I ain't even, I ain't even, it's over. Real quick, you know, I, I don't know how this combo got, you know, came up, but, you know, I was in the studio somewhere around this, and my partner, was, they was chopping game about would they fucking stud or not. <laughs> you know, what's your, what's your input on that? Man, I just, it's a bitch, she got a pussy, you know what I'm saying? So... You, 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 somewhat of a, a feminine stud, yeah, I'll fuck you, you know what I'm saying, but you just can't be no, no skinny ass, you gotta really have some asses, some titties for me to fuck, you know what I'm saying, yeah, cause you a girl, it's just that simple, you a female. So how do you feel about the studs that think they a real deal nigga? Like, I done heard a stud say they got a dick before. <laughs> that shit goofy, man, cause they don't be doing nigga shit, like. You still probably got a period, you know what I'm saying? You probably ain't lifting no refrigerators, moving no couches. You ain't doing none of that. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit fool gay. It's goofy to me. That shit, so I ain't even niggas gay. I ain't biased. That shit goofy, man. Right? But yeah, you mentioned you from the bluff, you know. When it comes to this rap shit, you know, is there any artists you tapped in with from your city? I mean, I really got, I got so much music, bro. I got so much shit behind the scenes, like motherfuckers don't even know. I um, I got a track with CK that I ain't dropped yet. Had that motherfucker since, <laughs> no cap, like 2016. I got a song with bro. Uh, I fuck with my mob. That's my nigga. I got a song with that nigga. Um... With Eastside, I got a song with him and Nick. Uh, who else I done tapped in with in the bluff? I got a song, my partner, Juju. Who the fuck else I got a song with? That's really it, you know what I'm saying? I, I like to show my work a lot, you know what I mean? I like to really show 
what I'm about before I really don't as much do fish, but I fuck with them. So I, I we went on and tapped in. That's really it from the blow. And when it come to Arkansas as a whole, you know, is there any artist you tapped in with? Uh, yeah, I can say I have. I had I tapped in with um, Deal King Deal and Lil Rock. I tapped in with bro. We tapped in heavy. That's as far as reaching out to anybody else. I ain't, I done met a lot of producers. You know what I'm saying? I've been fucking with a lot of different producers. That's really all I've been looking for. Most definitely. Yeah. What would you say about what's going on in the state right now? As far as the rap scene, music, everything go. We opening up. The door opening up for us. Like, I think we really finna. Some Arkansas finna really be on the map. Because it's, it's hella different style. You know what I'm saying? It's not one sound here. It's diverse. So, we Arkansas gonna be the talk of the industry definitely coming up. Most definitely. When it, you know, when it comes to you, what can the people expect? I got... Uh, my mixtape dropping January 1st, Willy World Volume 2. It's going to be on all platforms. Um, real, I got, uh, real quick though, Willy World, you know, how you get that, that whole little name? Uh, My cousin, Willy, August BDA, the guy got killed in the blood on November 8th, 2017. Shit. He had a heavy impact on my life as far as, you know what I'm saying, it's still in the hustle in me, making me be about staying for something instead of just being. Uh, um, somebody just here with no purpose. Real talk. And you mentioned something, no purpose. Do you feel like it's a lot of people living with no purpose? Yeah. Like I had touched on a little bit earlier, yeah, because they, uh, like I say, the media, like the U.S. entertaining them so much, they ain't really doing a lot of self-enrichment, like trying to just better self as far as just living. So, yeah, I do think a lot of motherfuckers just here, really. Most definitely, that's too real. And you know, when it comes to finding your music, and you know, somebody want to check you out, go ahead and let the people know where they can find you at. Shit, my Instagram MacBaby M three A's C dot B A B Y. My motherfucking Snap C M B M A C C M B Mac. Facebook D E J U A N Harris H A R R I S. Shit, just tap in all that. Twitter Sir Ball a lot ten. All my shit. And when it comes to your music, where your music at? Music right now, I got some music on Audio Mac, Willy World Volume One. You go get that bitch. You go snatch that. Instagram, my YouTube page is D Mac, Finesse Lord Mac, all on YouTube. Most definitely. And real quick, you got some mess you want to leave the youth, the youth with? You know, just streets period. You got something you want to leave them with? Shit, just be you, bro. Don't even, don't try to follow nobody. I don't care if a nigga say you gonna get a million dollars behind the door with him. If you know it's ten police coming after that, and his parents got lawyers and yours don't, make the smart decision, my nigga. Don't be stupid. Always go with your nuts. Don't follow no nigga. It's just simple as that. Real talk, man. Go ahead and let the folks know who we tapped in with. Finesse, Lord Mac, Pine Blue. Let's get it.